Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this lecture is all about one of the most popular framework for processing your data which is Apache Tez. So in the previous lecture we have seen all about what is Yarn, its significance and how it works under the hood. So in this lecture we are going to see how Tez can combine with Apache Hive and your big jobs to really process your data in way more efficient manner. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Apache Tez is nothing but a framework for building very high performance data processing applications and it does that by creating some complex direct acyclic graphs which is also known as DAG and it really makes the difference and DAG is also used by Apache Spark which is again another data processing tool which is very popular right now because of its in-memory computation and way more efficient data processing as if we compared it to MapReduce. Because MapReduce converts your job into different mappers and reducers and there will be a lot more stages. But Apache Tez gets the holistic picture of your data processing task and finds out the most efficient way to process your data. And it really makes a difference if you're dealing with big data. So if you have like gigabytes of data lying around and you want to do some analytics on top of it, Apache Tez is way to go. Because initially Hive and Pig uses MapReduce so that the Hive commands as well as Pig commands will first convert it into a MapReduce job and then it is submitted to our Hadoop cluster. So Tez is just like a replacement for your MapReduce. So you don't ever need MapReduce to process your Hive queries. You can just directly submit your Hive script by enabling Tez execution engine and you'll get the benefit of DAC and you will really notice it because it is around 10 times faster than MapReduce. It is not the exact figures but in my experience I have noticed around 3 to 4 times faster execution than MapReduce and at the end of this lecture we are going to do that because that's the most important part. We will just submit the same high queries on MapReduce as well as Tez and see the difference. And also in the logs, we'll get to know how this reduces the computational task and combines the tasks which are not dependent on each other. That we will see in a bit. But let's talk about where it sits in our Hadoop cluster. So as you can see in this figure, this sits on top of Hadoop YAN, which we have discussed in the previous lecture. So YAN nothing but deals with the resource management and it allocates the resources for doing certain tasks on your Hadoop cluster and submits them onto your data nodes. But this makes complex DAG graph to process your data. So instead of MapReduce, Tez uses another approach which we are going to see in the next slide. So if you see in this figure, Tez is really the replacement of Hadoop MapReduce because it was way more slower than the different processing engines such as Apache Spark. And if you have like legacy Hadoop cluster in your organization which uses extensively Hive or if it uses Apache Peak to process the data, then instead of using MapReduce, Tez is the way more efficient way. If you're not ready to migrate your workloads to another application like Apache Spark. So you can get the benefit of DAG and get way more faster execution on your big data workloads. But now let's see how it actually processes the same request way more efficiently. So this is the comparison between MapReduce and the Tez execution. So this is the figure which I have got from the official website and it is really understandable. So as you can see, if we run our pig or hive jobs on top of MapReduce, there are so many stages present. So each job will then split into the mappers and reducer functions and then it gets submitted one by one to your Hadoop cluster. But as you can see in this Tez, it really gets the holistic view of your execution and find out the most efficient way. So what it does is it will just combine the task wherever possible or else it will just run the task in parallel manner which are not dependent on each other. So if the if two tasks are not dependent on each other, then it doesn't need to be submitted one by one. Either it uses the parallel approach to save the time as well as the stages. So as you can see, there are so many stages in the mappers and reducers job. But if you talk about this, it really creates the most efficient way to process your request. So either it could be filtering out the data or else the reducing the data by using the aggregation function it, it does it in the more efficient way by building complex direct acyclic graphs. So that's why Tez is more efficient than MapReduce. So you don't need to do any coding 
while submitting your Hive script to test. You just need to do some configuration and enable the test support from Hive shell or else if you are submitting the job through Ambari, you have an option to submit it through test instead of MapReduce. But by default, it will take MapReduce as your processing engine. But enough talking, you will really understand the difference once we submit the same Hive queries on top of our Hadoop cluster by using both these processing engines. So as we discussed, we are going to submit the Hive query on top of MapReduce and then we will submit it on Tez and see the difference and the query execution time. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So as usual, our next step would be to kick off your HDP sandbox. So I have already kept it in running position to save some time and just head back to Ambari to make sure all the services are running fine without any issues. So as you can see in my Ambari, I have logged in as Maria underscore dev. So all the services are running fine without any issues. So especially how your component should be up and running. So we need Metastore as well as Hive server to submit our Hive queries through command line. So the next step would be we will just use our Hive shell to submit our Hive queries by using both these execution engines. So just go to the PuTTY terminal and log in as Maria underscore dev. So you know the password which is Maria underscore dev. So as you can see to get all the privileges we will just log in as a root user so that we will not miss out for any admin privileges. So just give the password now and that's it. So now we have to kick off our Hive shell and the command is pretty simple just Hive. So type Hive hit enter and it will open the Hive shell. So just wait for it. So as you can see we are in the Hive shell and we can submit our Hive queries through command line itself. So I guess we have some tables created in our default database. So just we'll submit the command show databases. Yeah, so we have the default database food mart and movies data. So we'll go to the default one. So just use default. That's it. We have used it. And to get the list from our default databases, we'll give like show tables. Yeah. So as you can see, we have the ratings table present in our default database. So we will use this table to submit some high query on top of test as well as MapReduce. So let's get the definition of it. So we'll give like describe ratings. Yeah. So it has the user ID, movie ID, rating and timestamp. So we will get how many ratings are given to each individual movie ID. So we'll get the movie ID and the count of rating from our ratings table. And we'll also use some order by to shuffle the data so that it will consume some resources because it doesn't have so much records and we will not be able to judge the performance and find the difference between Tez and MapReduce. So, but first we need to select the execution engine first. So the first will be the MapReduce. So to select the execution engine, all you have to type is set give hive dot execution dot engine equals to MapReduce, which is MR. So give semicolon. So what it will do is it will set the execution engine for Hive to MR, which is MapReduce. So hit enter. That's it. We can submit our query now. So our query is nothing but so we will just select the movie ID and the count of rating from the default dot ratings table and we'll group the data by movie ID and we'll also submit the order by. So order by movie ID. So this will submit the job to MapReduce. So if we hit enter. So as you can see MapReduce.job. So we have kick off our MapReduce job. So it has created two jobs. So it is launching the job one out of two, which means it has two stages. So the first stage will begin now. So under the hood, what it does is it will create the mappers and reducer function to execute our request. So as you can see, the stage one has begun. So it will take time because it does a lot of work if we compare it to this, which is way more efficient and finds the most optimum solution for this query. So just wait for it to complete. And you can see the logs to get all the details as well as for tracking. You got the URL here. Yeah. So the mapper has been completed and so as the reducer now. So it will go to the next stage. Yeah. So launching job two out of two. So again, it will kick off the mapper first and then the reducer. 
so it is doing too much work for such simple query and we don't have that much data to process so mapper is completed and reducer is also completed and that's it we got our data we got the movie id and the count of ratings from our ratings table so it took 102 seconds of time so it almost took around two minutes to complete such a small request so if we select this it will find the most optimum way to complete this query so are you ready okay then all you have to do is give like set and you have to set the hive dot execution dot engine equal to this that's it semicolon enter and that's it we have set the execution engine as this and we will just run the previously executed query so all we are doing is we are selecting the movie id count of rating from ratings table grouping by movie id and order by movie id so it's the same query so if we hit enter yeah so as you can see launching job one out of one so as you can see it has only created one job so it is way more and that's it we got the result and it was very fast so we got the result in just 8.7 seconds so from our findings it was almost 12 times faster execution than MapReduce so it was way more faster and you'll really notice the difference when you're dealing with gigabytes of data so this means that this really makes your Hive as well as big jobs way more efficient and there is no use of using MapReduce now because it does the simple work very hard way so that is the reason this is way more popular in the Hadoop community if you are dealing with Hive as well as Pig to submit SQL queries on your Hadoop data. So I hope you got a clear idea what is this and why it is used and how it takes the advantage of DAG to process your data in faster way. So if everything is done you can just give quit and that's it. So once everything is done don't forget to shut down your machine so just go to the machine and click on SCPI shutdown so that you will not face any issues when you will boot your system the next time. So I hope you like this lecture. So please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media which I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.